As Jamie and I have discovered, this stuff reacts to a bullet similar to human flesh, but to get the tenacity of skin and muscle, we need to add this fiberglass filler to the ballistics gel as we're casting it into my mold. Oh, beauty. Oh, I'm very pleased with how this is going so far, based on nothing. Once set, it's simply a case of easing the fleshy throat free of the mold. Almost. Come on. That's it. All right. Thank you. Then Adam plums the system with blue blood. Nice. And tests his anatomically accurate jugular. It's at the right depth beneath the flesh. <laughs> that is a bleeding neck. And requires the same force to slice. All right, can someone give me a Band-Aid? Allow me to introduce you to the analog bursting jugular vein multi-rotor testing neck rig. Yeah, rolls right off the tongue. It is basically a rig for bleeding when it senses a lethal injury. Now, I have more than two veins in this rig, even though we have only two in our neck, because we can test multiple times just by turning the neck. Yeah, it's like that versatile. So we can test as much as we want and watch bursting blue butt, blue blood, blue blood fly out of the veins. I'm gonna stop talking. Now.